Hey guys, uh, we're back. I'm back with uh, THE Produc THFE Productions and Sonjetsu. These guys, these guys. What's up? Yeah, What's I'm up? the Prince of Mastodon, by the way. Yeah, yeah so, Oakley, and then, yeah, Son. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, you can see his name right here. Or uh, there. <laughs> and right. we're about to talk about Arena. Bum, bum, bum. Arena, yes. Total War Arena. Um, we all got to play it. Oakley didn't get to play as much because he came in kind of late from his flight. Um, what do you guys think? I went uh, to the event like looking for being excited for Attila, and I found myself leaving being so much more excited for Arena. <laughs> that was just me. Okay. Yeah, I believe it. I oh, I I only got to hop in a little bit, and I hopped in. Um, well, as you guys know, there'll be a bunch of information by now. It's like a, a 10 person battle, 5v5 right on each side, and I hopped in on one side that had like three active players against all the devs on the other side, so we were getting massacred. But it was, it was pretty cool. Like, I was super impressed by the unit abilities, the diversity of units that you'll have, the generals, the map was awesome. We played on the hot gates, Thermopylae was really cool. Um, as for battle itself, I didn't get too much of a feel for it, so I'll, I'll let you talk about that, Prince. Oh, just to clarify, it's actually a 10v10. Oh, it's 10v10? Yeah, 10v10. Oh, yeah, it was 20. We, we, when you yeah. played, it was 5v5. Right. Because, there, because people were just... But then by the end, it was like... People kept just hopping on the computer because they saw us playing. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of cheating. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, each player gets uh, three uh, three units, one containing their general. Um, but yeah, I, I was pretty damn excited about this. Um, like, I already played Attila beforehand, so, um, so it wasn't too new for me. Although I, I didn't get to see the campaign yet, so that was, that was pretty badass. Um, but, oh shit. Should I be talking about that? Uh, you can't say uh, anything too much about it. I, I I think that'll be fine. They'll be passable. They'll forgive you. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah, just, yeah. for just saying there's a campaign that exists. <laughs> yeah, you can't talk about anything else until at uh, this point. Okay, sorry, sorry guys. <laughs> I apologize. Um, but yeah, um, I was pretty freaking excited about this. This is another uh free to play game, and um, yeah, you have you have different generals for your for your factions. Uh, you had like these Greek factions and some Roman factions, but the Romans had uh. They had Scipio, Caesar, and Germanicus, and then the Greeks had, um, they had Alexander the Great, who's unlockable, and then you had, um, Miltiades and, uh, Leonidas, and, um, they, they plan to expand that, of course. But, yeah, you get, you get three units, and then as you, at, between each battle, you, you progress, you gain more experience, and you can upgrade your, your units as you progress. So, I, I was using Caesar, right? So I start off with, like, a, uh, really crappy spear unit, and then two javelin units. After the next few battles, I was able to upgrade my guys to Hastati. And, you know, I was sad at first with the initial setup. When I got my Hastati, I was so damn excited. I was like, again, again, let's play again, again, again. Um, yeah, I, that, that, I really that's, liked it. That's the mentality once you start upgrading the units. Yeah. Next, one more. It was like Civilization or something. Like, one more, one more, one more turn. One more. One, one more, more, yeah, to upgrade well, those units. We played, what, was it five battles total or was it six? Um, I think it had the, it was, no, it was five, that's including the one we played with, uh, Oakley. With Oakley, yeah. Yeah. Um, Man, and I had a half battle. Yeah, he yeah, had a half battle. That was, that was the one. <laughs> yeah, but he, he got a taste of it. Um, yeah, just a little quick recap, yeah, we, we, we lost the, the first battle, and then after that, you know, once we figured out what we are doing, we, we, we just won every battle afterwards. <laughs> yeah, me and Sun Jets, we kept spawning. Yeah, yeah, me and Sun kept spawning at the same point, so we would just... Work our ways to the flag and just capture it. It's pretty. It's pretty wicked. The first one was hilarious because uh, we. I found. I figured out the controls, and I think you figured out the controls a little better. And then we we spawned right next to each other, and we went right through the hot gates, and there was nobody guarding it. And then we went right into the camp and just captured the flag. It was also. I was like, oh, okay, well, good. Let's start from the top. Like, okay, first thing oh, you drop <laughs> drop into battle. Like, what what do you see? Because I don't think anyone has any idea what we're talking about. Oh, okay, you yeah. Drop, yeah, yeah go ahead. So, arena. Yeah, you you know first you pick your faction. And then when you're ready, uh, you know, you know, selecting all your upgrades, you hit the play button, which is on top, and then you have to wait for everyone to to be ready. So say you have 20 people, you have to wait for all 20 people to click the ready button, and then you see this big overhead map with a lot of spawn points. And then your team's on one side, the other team's on the other, but on your side you have a certain amount of spawn points. So you pick your spawn point, and that's where you start. And set up kind of like um, kind of like Shogun where you had capture points. So uh, you have to capture these points. If not, you pretty much just lose. And, um, capture the flag. Yeah, capture the flag type deal. So it, it's a fun thing to do. Um, and, and then you fight, of course, along the way. But the terrain's pretty pretty wicked. Um, but, yeah, Sanjetsu, you want to add on to what I was saying? The terrain is a lot more detailed than a lot of the terrains in Rome 2. Like, it was like... 
Uh, but I, I, it was because it was smaller. Also, they had to add. I mean, they added the hog gates, but they added all these other little tiny things, and it was it, like looked really good. The units looked almost like identical to Rome too, but you couldn't really zoom in all the way, and they yeah. behaved a little bit differently. Um, then I guess it felt like they they be, they felt different. It felt different than a normal Total War game. Yeah, it's a little quicker than than Rome 2's pacing. Um, yeah, but yeah, the, just to reiterate the, uh, he said the hot gates. That's part of the the Thermopylae uh, map. Yeah, Thermopylae and, map, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thermopylae was such a freaking badass map because you did have the option of fighting at the hot gates, and you can totally reenact some some 300 battles if you if you wanted to. Also, they told us that, um, and I felt it in the first match, that if you charge down a hill and you hit a unit, it, the charge is tremendous. If you are on the top of the hill and a unit tries to take the hill from you, it's a lot harder for them to take it. And when we, the first match we did, I tried to go up the hill, but then, um, Craig, Craig knew all the unit abilities, and he came down with Germanicus, he's got a charge ability, <laughs> and he came down and hit three of my hoplites, and decimated two of them completely with the charge because I was trying to go up the hill and I didn't really know the, the oh. so I ran away with my um with my last hoplite trying to get back to you guys but I, we that's why, that's why we lost like we lost the right flank immediately and it was like and every single time that something like new was happening um Dogbert was right behind me he's like who who is that Craig is that Craig <laughs> is Craig using his pila come on Craig. Craig. Right. Is he, yeah that was it he's using his pila and I was like what <laughs> yeah it's fun though yeah it was it's, it's a good like. I want to call it like a like a party game for for Total War players. Um, yeah, it's just like when you're not playing, you know, Attila or Rome two. I think this is a great game to to wind it's down. Like, uh, Super Smash Bros. For yeah, it, <laughs> exactly. It was like quick battles. The atmosphere was awesome. Like you said, it's something where you want to be like, oh, let's bring you guys over here. I'm getting slaughtered. <laughs> hurry, oh. hurry. Yeah, so we were like all yelling up and down the line. The devs were all there, like chuckling, <laughs> like yeah. just get, just go easy on them. Then they're like shooting everything at us. But yeah, I asked them about like what is going to be the capability for talking, and they're like, right now it's just like a little chat log. Yeah, so I'm, I was a, I was a little disappointed in that because I, I feel like this is a game you got to scream orders at people or have like something roam to you know where you can draw arrows on the map. Oh, they, they should. they'll have something. maybe. I, I hope so. Until oh, then. I, th I didn't even think about that actually. <laughs> <laughs> that would that would be actually really useful because it's like go over there, go over there. Yeah, I, I guess this typing might be kind of uh, difficult. Yeah. Um, um, now on the progression, the the more kills you have, and if you capture the flag, you get more points. So I was able to make my hoplites into phalanx pretty quickly, but I didn't use my phalanx correctly because if the, what the one thing that I found out was that if you pull your units back through your phalanx, this time the phalanx kill your own units. You can't you can't just yeah. pull them back. That's why I, I had like three ph phalanxes and I pulled one right through my other phalanx because I was like trying to hold up uh, the hot gates and it killed like half my unit and I was like what the, what is going on what's going on I was freaking out. It was yeah. yeah that's the way it should be too. I mean it, that's uh, pretty awesome. Yeah. I didn't get the best look at the map, but it was pretty sizable, right? It looks it's like a Rome two map and it starts like basically two equal level hills and they go down and kind of meet in the center and then if you look from the top there's like paths here and then meeting in the middle and then little auxiliary paths and stuff it was pretty well balanced with like a high ground and then low ground at the at the hot gates different plateaus and like forts i think there were towers as well that you can capture that probably shoot yeah there were um, towers yeah yeah, <clears throat> yeah it's a very a very big map and i would love to see that kind of map in in Rome too that would be that'd be awesome Mm -hmm. What I felt about the map was that in Rome 2, the maps seemed to be a lot more realistic. In uh, in Arena, the maps were realistic, but they, they added like so many different types of elements to the map. Like they, like you were saying, they had the hill, they had the hot gates, they had the two camps, they had the, the the space in between, they had the ocean that was right there. So they added a lot to the map. Oh, there's also a line of sight. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah like a fog of war type thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we didn't get to see too much on that because it's kind of like there's a high ground in it. Both teams were on the high ground, so they could see anything. Um, but I did. I think I remember seeing in part of the interview we'll release later that they are going to play a lot with line of sight. So like tall grass, trees you can hide in. Um, I think Son, you want to talk about the mud and stuff that they talked about? <laughs> oh yeah, I did ask about mud. He said that they were going to add marshes and and things like that. Um, they were really looking into uh, making it so your units like you pay a penalty realistically for having your heavy armed units going through the harsh terrain. You know snow and stuff so yeah i i think because you you just have three units and just like one or a couple maps for a multiplayer they're going to be able to just like turn up the amount of detail on everything um and that's something we haven't seen from total war before so i think that's what arena is going to offer how did you guys feel controlling just three units i mean you know it's easier just, 
Yeah, it, it's going to be cool because you have all these different abilities. It's going to be hard to keep, keep track if you had a full stack of units, but you upgrade each one. Um, I think with 20 units, that would have been kind of tedious. But I think it's cool. I was, yeah, I was already a little overwhelmed <laughs> with three yeah. units. Exactly. It's because each one, each one has like three different abilities. I think uh, my hoplites had shield bash, which is the best ability. You get into a unit and you shield bash, and literally they do what they did in three hundred. They just like hit the enemy with their shields. They go flying. They had piercer, which was it gave a buff to their spear attacks, and then I think they had hold, which just made them stop and go into phalanx formation. But each unit had it, so you had to like go in each unit and and make them do those abilities. Yeah, it was hard for me because I didn't know what the hell was going on, so I didn't know my ability. So I was like looking over at one guy, oh, what what do you do? And then meanwhile, my other guys are getting <laughs> killed and stuff. So that's why I felt overwhelmed. But I feel like once you get to, you get a feel for what all the units can do, it'll be really cool. Um, and then yeah, like the type of thing where like, oh, Craig's up on the hill, everyone gang up on him. That type of thing, I think you'll see in multiplayer where you'll know like, oh, that player, let's all team up against him and exactly. stuff like that. Yeah, just give me yeah, some fun. There's also uh, you can change the color of your of your units and stuff. You can make you can customize them to look a certain way. So you know that way you can signal each other out on the battlefield a little bit better. And I gotta say I'm most excited about the unlockable generals because we did see the the Alexander the Great unit, um, but you have to work your way up to him. And what I'm excited about is not just Alexander the Great, but you know what other generals are they gonna put in this game? And it's just a lot of possibilities. But you know of course I'm excited about Alexander being in it. I did ask about, um, I asked two things, uh, what, if they're gonna go into the future, like how would they incorporate guns and balance it out with like, say, a hoplite running into a gunfire? And basically what they were saying was that they'd have to balance it out in a way where certain units have, a uh, certain amount of men inside each unit. So like, like the, uh, musket men had less unit, less men in the unit than like, say, the hoplites would have, or some, something like that. Um, and then when it comes to, uh, the generals, they told me that, they would, the sky's the limit, one of the guys said they would like to see some Chinese generals in there, and the other guy said that we could even add Achilles in there, so. That'd be wicked. Absolutely wicked. That'd be pretty cool. How did the combat work? I was only able to zoom in a little bit, and it seemed like I was getting hit by javelins, and it was like, all sorts of messages were popping up. Hit, miss, kill, hit, miss, kill, damage, stuff like that. It was pretty crazy. Yeah, I, but, it seems alright to me. Um, I mean, I, I guess it's you know, they're showing you the information instead of just, you know, yeah, I guess. computing it. Um, After a couple of fights, you get used to all yeah. the little things. It's kind of useful, you know, if you want to know what's happening. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And then were there um, combat animations? I didn't quite get to see that that much. I saw them. I zoomed in. Yeah, there were. Because I died twice where all my units <laughs> died, and I was able to hover around everybody's battlefield. Yeah, there's little, exactly the same ones from Rome, too. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, then after the battle, you can replenish your ranks, and then upgrade, upgrade, and buy different uh, units if you can. Give your general new abilities and stuff. Yeah. So it's um, pretty addicting. Oh, we wanted to play, right? I think I we played like two a couple hours of arena, arena, and then I only played, which I was looking forward to the most, like only a half an hour of Attila. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're like, man, again, where's where's, where's everybody go? Like everyone just got up and left. <laughs> Like we're still playing here. <laughs> I, I was like, <laughs> cause we, I was like, uh, what did I say? Uh, oh, cause we kept beating the other team, so they got up, <laughs> they got up and started playing other games. Yeah, I think so. And yeah, we, we were just, yeah, but yeah, they were, they were, they were all right. <laughs> you but, guys, uh, were you able to bring artillery? Cause I saw those on the battlefield. There, people were rolling around in scorpions. I was like, oh, cool, let's go check out what that is. Boom, get shot in the face. <laughs> like, the people, the other team was rolling these guys around and just like yeah. massacring <laughs> my guys. I, I, I didn't get that option yet. No, uh, no, I, I didn't I play with it, but I saw them, and I and you can kill you can kill them. Um, but I think, I think they I... can make spikes. They can put spikes in the ground. I think it was either them or the skirmishers. They can put spikes in the ground for horsemen to go into. They have that mm. ability. Okay, I think I also heard somewhere previously that you would have to manually control certain units, and the artillery is going to be one of them. I don't know if that means you like go into first person and shoot them, or how that works. Yeah, it's probably something something along those lines. But I know like if you can't see the opponent, you can still. You can still fire at a certain target on the map, but you're not going to know what you're hitting unless your your friends see it. They also right. and uh, oh, continue. Oh, I was just going to say about shooting into the into the dark. I think you have unlimited ammo except for special ammo types, right? Oh, oh, I, I didn't know. About oh, that. There, he said there's consumables for the um, scorpion, so you can uh, the consumables add like extra armor, extra defense, extra uh, you know blade. <coughs> 
you know, damage or whatever. So, but there, he said there were going to be consumables that you can add on, like items for like a uh, MMORPG character that would give the the uh, siege uh, your siege weapons like fire, like fire bolts or you know whatever, you know, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, but the last thing was, uh, or the last thing I was going to say was that um, they, they, when you pick a general, you can put them in any of the units. So when I attacked the scorpion, uh, I saw Leonidas in the scorpion. <laughs> I think it was, it was either Leonidas or uh, Caesar. It was one of them, but I saw him in the scorpion, I saw, and I killed the general. But as of right now, killing the general doesn't have any effects on the army morale, but they said that's going to change. Yeah, I, that's, that's just a cool feature, though. Like, that, that was back in Rome 1 and Medieval 2. The first unit you pick is your general unit. And I hope that I hope that's something they implement in the other Total War games too, mm-hmm. like re-implement it. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I didn't quite get to see the routing mechanism. I saw some of my units. I mean, they routed when they were down to like ten troops left, but I was out of like I don't know, what is it, 150 men or something like that, 100 men. Ooh, it took know. a while <laughs> for me to route. What I saw was that when they route, um, and they're still you still have the unit card, they have a possibility of coming back, but. So, but if they like down the two men, sometimes they'll just break, and then you you lose that unit card, and then you mm-hmm. can't play with them anymore. But you can you can choose to stay. Like I said, you can choose to stay in the battle and watch what's going on from her, or like help your team just by being their eyes. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah, that's basically that's, cool. <laughs> that's basically all uh, you know about Attila. I mean, at the arena. Arena, yeah. Any closing thoughts, or do you want to add more to this? Or mm, there'll be that other interview I had with. Um... That other guy, Elliot, I think, uh, who just talks for like 15 minutes about the front end <laughs> of it. So I figured, you know, this video would cover the um, actual gameplay. Um, but I think we covered most of the bases. I didn't get to see too much, so it'd be up to you guys to see if there's anything else. Um, oh, yeah, there's going to be other maps. They, they said they had another map, oh, yeah. um, Salernum. Um, we did not get to play on that, but, yeah, there's going to be a different maps, and I can't wait to see what the other maps are. All right, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, my last, I guess my last side thought would be that uh, anybody who's doubting that arena is going to be good, don't. It's awesome. <laughs> it's it's epic. I mean, if you're a campaign player, I mean, you could just play that game. It's free, and you could just play it um, just to have a real quick match and have fun. It's almost it it's almost like uh, like Team Fortress or something. It's it's fun. It's just fun for a little bit, you know. And then you and then you can upgrade your general. It's literally av- the Avatar Conquest system from Shogun Two added into a free, different style of. Rome 2 type of game, so... Yeah, just grab your friends and go, hey, you, w- you guys want to meet for some uh, arena action? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm, I'm going to be playing the crap out of it once it comes out, uh, you know, or we can play it on beta, even, so... Right. Yeah, and they, they did say that the cool thing about this game is that um, because they expect it to be free-to-play and they expect there to be a lot more people going with it, they they get a lot of data from that, and they'll be able to, like, fix glitches and fix uh, OP units really, really quickly, and they'll be able to make this game much more dynamic in mm-hmm. terms of you know changes and introducing new units and stuff. So I think it'll be definitely a cool product that they're going to phase in you know mythical generals or new generals. There's going to be a lot to it, so that's sweet. Yeah, I'm excited. Some uh, orc generals. Maybe, <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> space marine generals. Uh, space marine generals. <laughs> but but uh, I, yeah, I guess that's it. That's I think that is it. We'll have to oh, wait for actually an official video. Yeah, the one thing I didn't get to ask, which I wanted to, was how far in the future they were. What was, what was the limit? Tanks? Like, was that, what was the limit of how far they would go? Like, I mean, am I gonna see Patton in the in the, the you know the, you know? But I didn't get to ask that. I I thought maybe oh, well, like I was going a little too far out with questions at that point. Well, I kind of asked um what's gonna be the time period restriction, and they 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 kind of I forgot what the, what the answer was, but they kind of answered that. <laughs> okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be in the interview. Okay, okay. Group okay. interview, yeah. Okay, sweet. All right. Yeah, oh. one, one sec. Well, yeah, I guess all that's right, it. cool. <laughs> I think we're done. We'll, we'll do it in the next video then. All right. <laughs>